I have on my bench another BT Blonder Tongue modulator. This is a SAVM, a soft filter modulator. Single channel, it's not a stereo one, it's a mono modulator on here. And on the back, we've got a uh, video input, audio input. It's got an IF out and an IF in, and standard uh, power plug loop through so that in a cable head in they can have a bunch of these things looped together and just plug one into the next 600 watt maximum output well the unit itself is only going to draw you know a fraction of, a, of an amp I think it's a 1 8 amp fuse so this thing doesn't draw much power very energy efficient but a cable company could have 20 or 30 of these things all looped together each one on its own separate channel this is old uh, very old I found it in a dumpster a number of years ago, and I used it for a bit here. Uh, I found it, it's, it says it's on channel WW, which would be channel 59, if we do the math, because um, the cable channels started at channel A, and they went through W, uh, A starting at channel um, 14, and W was 36, and then AA started at 37 so um, W was the 23rd letter of the alphabet so if it's 23 and WW is another 23 23 plus 23 that's channel 46 plus you add your 2 to 13 taking off channel 1 so you add another 12 channels to it and that would be channel 58 actually is what this should be I think is that right 58 yeah, 58, but you got to consider that they probably count channel 1 in there somewhere too. It should be 58 or 59, one of the two. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, this thing's off frequency, so someone may have tuned it at one point. I think it's coming in on channel 54, if I remember correctly, from when I last used this thing. But it's supposed to be on channel WW. But let's uh, take a look inside this thing. I've got all the screws out of this thing already. So inside the unit we've got our modulator. This is again, it's an IF modulator, so it's going to modulate down at around 45 megahertz. And um, here's our, our AV modulator here, the circuitry here. Video and audio comes in. Video comes in here. Audio goes, where does it go? It goes underneath here. It's a wire that goes underneath there. It comes around up to the front here, I believe. But we have our, our audio and video input. Here's our, our baseband modulator. It's crystal controlled for the IF frequency. And it generates our visual carrier and our audio subcarrier. Both of those are sent out by this IF out, it's just a loop through cable that goes into the converter block here. This is the converter block with the saw filter. If we open this up, we'll see that there's a shielded area here, and it actually won't work without this shield in place or this cover on. But uh, our frequency conversion is done in this shielded area, and our filtering is done. Then it passes through the bandpass filter and an amplifier and out the RF output on the back. So I'm just going to hook this thing up and see if it uh, still works before I dispose of it. I'm going to maybe put this thing up on eBay or Craigslist or something. It may have some value to somebody who's looking for a commercial grade monitor. I've got our commercial grade modulator. I've got a few of them here, so I really don't need another one, but uh, this might be useful to somebody, like for putting a security camera or something uh, through their house cable. I made myself up an adapter cable here to connect it up to my DVD player. And I'll get my output cable to my monitor. We 
need to get my TV ready to go here. Okay, we'll plug it in the power. And turn the unit on. And as you can see, if I pan the camera up here, I've just got it on my bench monitor that I use for my uh, camera normally. So there we go. It's uh, sending the signal over to the monitor. So that's uh, basically it. It's the a basic mono blonder tongue uh, modulator. Thought you guys might like to look inside one of these things. This is let's say this is pretty old. There's some capacitors down here that would be used for for tuning the amplifier on it. I I don't know what the signal level on this thing is. I don't even think it says what it is. But it's you know it's 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 probably a pretty potent signal. I would imagine it's probably going to be uh, you know it's it's probably going to be in like the plus forty or plus uh, sixty. Uh, DB output. It's going to be a fairly, uh, I would think, a fairly strong uh, output from this thing here. A couple of transistors down here, a couple of amplifier transistors down here. And I notice when I put my fingers, when I put my finger in there, I cause interference. If I put the uh, camera back up here, if I if I stick my fingers in there, you'll see. I'm just. This is just from picking up signals out of the air, I guess, and it's causing interference. Probably leakage from my cable system. I'm picking up my own leakage and. It's getting into the amplifier. Anyway, that's uh, that's about it. Not really much else to show you on this thing. I just figured I would show this to you guys, and I, I think I'm probably going to throw this thing up on eBay or Craigslist or something and see if it's worth something to somebody. We'll catch you in the next video.